is this the future of car detailing, guys? Well, you're about to find out by watching this video because today I'm reviewing two new battery-powered sprayers. So the first one is the SPTA uh, battery-powered foam sprayer. The second one is the Solo handheld battery sprayer. So we're going to be going over the specs and features of both of them. We're going to talk about what's inside the box, the value for money. We're going to talk about the build quality. And of course, you're going to see them in a demo. So who is it for? How are you going to use them? That and more in this detailing video. So without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan. Welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day. So let's dig right into it. So again, we're reviewing these two battery-powered sprayers today. Uh, I had the chance on this channel to do a recent video on my favorite uh, handheld sprayers. So the regular trigger ones. So you can go ahead and check that out. I have a link to that video in the description under this video. Uh, I had also made a video uh, about my favorite pump sprayer, which is currently the uh, Marilex line. This one here is their Axle series. So this is a foaming type pump sprayer. Uh, and of course, I've had the chance to test pretty much all the good ones on the market, including the IK Foam Pro 2. So another very, very good one. But today we're focusing on battery powered ones. This is still pretty new to the market. It's not really detailing focused. Uh, so these are, especially if you look at the Solo, this is meant more for gardening type applications and home use. Uh, the SPTA, the same thing, although they say you can use it to uh, snow foam your vehicle, to clean the wheels with this, so on and so forth. So we're going to talk about both sprayers and are they worth purchasing? So first of all, let's talk about the SPTA. I'm going to go quickly over the specs and features. Uh, and by the way, guys, don't worry. I'll include the links to these products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So as usual, all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this. I ordered these two products myself. Uh, so if we talk about the price, first of all, for the SPTA, prices fluctuate greatly, uh, by the way, uh, according to the month. So in the month of August, when I I ordered this in 2022. Uh, I paid for the SPTA 77 US dollars, uh, which equated to roughly 103 Canadian dollars with the import fees and the exchange rate and all that stuff. So it is not cheap by any means. Uh, the one I had seen uh, initially online was white. This one here is this orange color. So maybe this is a new variation. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, drop a comment in the comment section under the video. Uh, so what are the specs? First of all, uh, this is a 1.8 liter capacity. And if we look on the side, here that equates to roughly 60 ounces. There is a clear window for you to see the level of liquid that's inside there with different graduation marks. So that's very, very good. Uh, in the front, so we have uh, indicator lights to tell you the uh, battery charge level. There's this power on button and this, there's the uh, charging port here in the bottom, which is USB. And as we're going to see what comes in the box, this is where you'd connect the uh, USB power cable. Up top, very simple. You have a release valve for the air pressure. You have the trigger button here that you can depress. And also there's a lock button if you want a continuous operation. And uh, inside the box, it comes with this longer tip here. This is the foaming tip. And it comes with a smaller tip if you just want to use it for spraying regular liquids or water, for example, so just like a regular tip. My unit came with this measuring cup, the USB charging cable inside the box as well. So they supply pretty much everything you need and a small uh, operation manual. SPTA, for those of you who are wondering, is a company out of uh, China. What are the good features? First of all, build quality, I was actually surprised. It's pretty good. So it's made out of HDPE plastic, uh, which is more resistant to acids and alkali. So very good chemical resistance, uh, very good ergonomics as well. There is a big container. Uh, so the uh, use, they say you can get up to an hour of use with this. The recharging from a fully dead battery is roughly five and a half hours. My unit came uh, half charged and it took a few hours, so it should be pretty quick. Uh, but we want to see, obviously, what is the performance performance of this, right? And we're going to see uh, how well it works on the uh, wheels and tires if you want to use this, because that's how I see this being used, is uh, stuff like either uh, cleaning your wheels and tires with a um, product that you can put in there that you can dilute for wheels and tires, or even a snow foam. For those of you who don't have a foam cannon to phone your vehicle, it's a 7.2 volt lithium battery that's inside there. And pretty much it's simple. You just 
put your products in there, turn the uh, power button on, which we can do for you to hear the level, by the way. And uh, it takes roughly 30 seconds, depending on the volume that's in there. Uh, so it can uh, fully prime itself. And then you just press the trigger and that's how simple it is. Uh, we're gonna see that in the demo. But if you wanna see the uh, noise level that this makes, let me press the uh, power button here. All right, and there you go. So it's uh, not too loud of a motor. And uh, as you're using it, it continuously refills with air inside there. So hopefully you get to the appropriate pressure coming out of here all the time. Talking about pressure, uh, this delivers 2.5 bars, which equates to roughly 36 PSI. So uh, pretty good for a, pump, a uh, cordless or battery powered pump sprayer. The next one out of Germany, we have the Solo brand. So they're known for their very high quality sprayers. Uh, this makes no exception. Once again, we have HDPE plastic uh, and we have Viton seals. So very high chemical resistance. Uh, this one here has, uh, here, let me show you this in a close-up, there we go. So this has a one liter capacity or roughly 33.8 ounces inside this plastic. On the side, uh, you can see the fill mark up to the one liter line, but that's pretty much it. There are no other markings on the side, so I wish um, they had done that. Uh, it's semi-transparent, so you can see your liquid uh, inside there. Uh, this one here is, again, usually for home or garden use, that kind of stuff, but I can see its uh, application in the detailing world. Uh, things like a rinseless wash, if you want to spray that on your vehicle either for a pre-treatment before you wash your car or fully wash your car with uh, this you would encapsulate all the dirt and debris uh, on your vehicle by spraying a rinseless solution uh, you can have your drying aid in there in the form of a, a quick detail spray or a, a drying aid for the lubrication when it's time to dry uh, your vehicle with a uh, microfiber drying towel and what i would also see this is a glass cleaner so i've tried all three and it works quite well uh, the ergonomics are very very good and you have here the adjustment that you can do on the nozzle for either a more spray pattern, as we're gonna see here. So let me show you what that gives. So you depress the trigger, and there you go. This spray is some of the best I've seen. It is so satisfying and there's no delay. Boom, boom. As soon as you press, it goes out. And then you can make it a more direct shot. So, oh, and I sprayed all the way up to my wall. So, yeah. It sprays a long way and uh, yeah, it's very quiet. So this one too uh, can have up to an hour of continuous operation, uh, roughly 90 minutes before it gets a fully charged uh, battery if you uh, drain it completely and you wanna recharge it fully. And uh, again, this is called the Solo 460 Li. So ion lithium battery, once again, 3.7 volts on this one. Uh, in the box, what do you get? Uh, once again, very simple instruction manual. You get the USB cable that is included as well. And uh, well, obviously you get the box, right? One thing that I would have liked, there's no light for the uh, indicator of the battery level. So I wish they would have done that. But the uh, trigger here in the front, very well done. Uh, very satisfying to depress. It's kind of this uh, stainless steel or metal button. I can also see some window tinters using this in the industry. A lot of them use that slip solution when they're applying the uh, tin film. Uh, PPF installers as well for that lubrication. Uh, and basically, because you're never activating the trigger continuously, you won't have any issues uh, with your body's health over time, right? You just press and uh, yeah, that's it. You're good to go. So it's good for all of that. 0 0.66 pounds in weight. So very, very lightweight, by the way. And uh, if you're wondering, the SPTA weighs in at roughly 3.14 pounds. Uh, also, for both of these units, the companies uh, do not recommend using liquids inside them above 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So for bo both, don't use super hot uh, liquids inside them. Uh, for the uh, solo sprayer, as far as the pressure is concerned, we're talking about two bars or roughly 29 PSI. Again, overall build quality, the SPTA, I was very, very impressed actually. I was shocked at the, yeah, the overall quality. Good plastic, good build. I don't see anything that uh, doesn't look like it's nicely finished. So you guys tell me if you have any experience, what is your experience with these as far as durability is concerned? Uh, both are covered by a one year warranty, by the way. And uh, well, of course, Solo, they are known for their quality bits and pieces for anything related to the sprayer world. And this is no exception. I mean, just the, the build, of the uh, trigger sprayer up here is very nice. That metal button and again, that HDPE plastic, very well done. And so, yeah, let me know again if you guys have had experience with this one. So now let's dive into the demo and see these guys in action. Okay guys, so for the demo, we're gonna be uh, putting some PNS Brake Buster diluted one to 10 uh, inside the SPTA uh, foaming battery powered sprayer. Uh, but before that, 
just so you can see uh, once again what the solo looks like there's just a bit of rinseless solution in there so if we spray that hopefully you can tell the atomization very very nice precise and fine so this is on the wide setting and then if i put it on the other setting for the direct shot so that gives you a good idea so the uh, machine now is fully primed it's ready to go and we're going to see it in uh, operation so there's just this trigger to depress and then we're going to foam the wheel and tire So you see as I was using it uh, and the uh, liquid level was going down, the uh, pump well primed itself with air again to fill up the uh, capacity to be able to continuously use it. And hopefully, as you can tell as well, it is a very nice, thick and pretty dense foam that's on there. So uh, this is, again, nothing like a true foam cannon setup would do, but uh, very comparable to what the uh, Marilex and the IK foaming pump sprayers would do, perhaps not as foamy, but don't forget we also diluted the brake buster a lot more. So in those other two foaming pump sprayers, uh, in the Marilex I can go down to 1 in 10, uh, however with the IK foam pump sprayer I usually stay around the 1 to 3 to 1 to 5 dilution ratio. So you can have something that's pretty diluted so it's more economical but you're still getting some good quality foam. And these are like the first generation things right so let's let's do that one again so you can see it in, up close. So how do you guys think that looks? Pretty sweet right? When you're done using it, you can simply turn off the power button and you have the release valve up top to release all the air. For cleaning on both of the units, when they're done emptying, fill them back up with just clean water and run the system for about 30 seconds to clear everything out. And then you can store them, store them fully charged if you don't use them often to make sure that they're, they're good to go. All right, so now for the uh, snow foam prep, we emptied the SPTA, rinsed it out, and I did the, the Koshemi GSF Gentle Snow Foam, pH neutral snow foam, uh, great foaming capabilities, great lubrication. So a one to 10 dilution ratio uh, in this measuring jug. So we're gonna pour that into the uh, SPTA container. There you go. So about a liter of solution in total. We're going to close this up. We're gonna charge it up, so fully prime it with the power button. All right, so this is where we had the PNS Brake Buster wheel and tire cleaner. Now let's go ahead and foam the vehicle with the GSF, see how far this brings us, and the quality and richness and thickness of the foam. So let me give you a close-up of what this looks like. So this is not going to be your shaving cream thick like texture that you would get with a traditional foam cannon and pressure washer setup obviously, but still this is quite decent. And the vehicle by the way is coated with a uh, graphene ceramic coating just as an FYI. So still very very good. What do you guys think? Let's show you this up close. So you can see the foaming. So I mean, that's pretty good guys. So of course it's gonna depend on many factors. The uh, water quality that you have, I'm using deionized water through my uh, DI setup over there, so zero minerals, so you get more foam, obviously. The quality of your snow foam, the dilution ratio, so on and so forth. Let's see this on the hood.
pretty good. And as you can tell, it self primes as you go. So that's one good thing is that you never miss the pressure. So it continues priming and you can continue foaming. See that? So I'm running a bit low in the solution. We probably used already 0.5 liters. So if you fill it up to the 1.8 liter capacity, you could probably do a uh, mid-sized vehicle like this or a compact car with uh, one container. But again, some pretty decent foam out of it. What do you guys think so far? Drop a comment in the comment section. And then to give you an idea, with the uh, Solo handheld trigger sprayer, there's just a rinseless solution in there. So imagine covering your vehicle if you're doing a rinseless wash like this. The fan spread is very, very nice. This one here has a super quiet motor. Obviously, it's a more compact unit, right? But uh, yeah, you can go around your vehicle and spread your, your rinseless solution. So guys, there you go for the demo. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So once again, we had the uh, SPTA cordless foaming sprayer. Uh, this one comes in at roughly 77 US dollars when I purchased it or 103 Canadian dollars. And the other one was the uh, Solo handheld battery powered sprayer. So this is the 460 LI model. Uh, this one came in at 51 US dollars when I ordered this in August 2022, uh, or roughly 67 Canadian dollars after the exchange rates and all those import fees and things like that. Uh, so they're definitely not cheap. However, the build quality is surprisingly good on both uh, and you can have different uses. Eh? Once again, so for uh, the solo pump sprayer, uh, for the solo sprayer, battery powered one, uh, whatever, obviously you're not going to have this for all your sprayers because you'd be spending thousands and thousands of dollars on sprayers, but for things that you often use, so glass cleaners, drying aids, uh, if you're having a rinseless wash, if you do all of that at home, if you're a professional in the industry, whether you're a mobile detailer or a detailer in a shop, if you install uh, tin film or PPF, I can see you guys using this for the slip solution and the lubricating solutions and things like that. Uh, and this one here, uh, who is it for? Well, once again, uh, either regardless if you're a professional or a DIY weekend warrior, uh, if you do not want to have something that you're constantly pumping and you want something that's automatic and battery powered, this is a good first iteration, I would say. Uh, so to clean wheels, if you have a wheel and tire cleaner that you want to foam on to your wheels, or even if you don't have access to a pressure washer and a foam cannon, but you still want to snow foam your vehicle for the pre-wash stage, uh, this is a good alternative because it self primes, it fills up on its own, it has a decent and enough foaming. Uh, is it better than a foam cannon? Obviously not. Nothing replaces the true performance of a foam cannon and a pressure washer because obviously you have more pressure, more water flow, so on and so forth. Uh, but yeah, they were pretty decent. So uh, bang for buck, Obviously, well, it depends once again. Uh, they are expensive and of course, pl prices are going to fluctuate. I think I want to see more uh, brands and businesses in the industry look into these types of things and uh, offer battery powered units uh, for detailing purposes. So I know the future is going to be very good. I'm pretty sure a lot of brands are looking into making something happen. So prices are obviously going to decrease as time goes forward. Again, I remind you that all these products will be linked in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. And if you had any experience with one of these two products or maybe both of them, let my viewers know. Drop a comment in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to uh, the channel. Share the video with your friends and family that might benefit from this. And uh, yeah, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.